Sup guys, and welcome to this week's CM Storm EU LCS update featuring the Copenhagen Wolves. They started off the week sitting in 7th place with 7 wins and 17 losses. They faced Gambit and Fnatic on day 1, followed by Rocket on day 2 and the Super Hot Crew on day 3. However, they also had to play a tiebreaker on day 3 against Gambit. In their first match, Diamond Gang top lane just after 5 minutes, which allowed Cubon to get first blood onto Youngbuck. At the same time, however, Unlimited was able to secure a kill on Edward in bot lane. Top would be busy soon again with Broken Shard ganking and also picking up a kill on Cubon. Following on from this, Genja managed to get his first kill of the game on Unlimited, and as 11 minutes approached, Copenhagen Wolves focused on secured Dragon. Cubon looked to get involved in the bot lane coming up to 13 minutes and teleported in, allowing Genja to get another kill onto Unlimited. Soon after, Broken Shard was looking to have another impact in the lane and ganked, allowing Woolite to kill Edward. A few minutes later, Gambit made a play for Dragon. They secured the objective, but the Wolves engaged in them afterwards and a 2 for 2 team fight fell. This was followed up a few minutes later by a group fight in bot lane, which Gambit won 2 for 0. Just after 44 minutes, Broken Shard rode into Gambit's jungle and got killed. Youngbuck would die shortly afterwards, followed by Sorin in mid as Gambit pushed through. They would make the mid inhibitor fall along with killing Unlimited before 45 minutes, and the Nexus itself would get exploded at 45 minutes and 15 seconds. As Gambit take victory over the walls. In their second match on day one, the Wolves faced off against Fnatic. Just after 12 minutes into the game, Cyanide ganked bot lane and Yellowstar picked up first blood on Woolite. Cyanide would soon after look to have an impact in mid lane, but gets killed by Sorin just before XPK was able to take him down. Youngbuck teleported to the lane also and this forced both teams to back away. A couple of minutes after this, a group fight started at bottom, Fnatic won a 2 for 1 just before Youngbuck was able to take down the top outer turret. Just after 26 minutes, Cyanide was looking to steal the Wolves red buff, but got caught out and taken down. At 29 minutes, a base rate started with Fnatic pushing top lane and the Wolves pushing up mid. Fnatic were able to get the top in a turret, inhibitor turret and inhibitor which forced the Wolves to retreat from mid and defend. They then chased Fnatic from their base but eventually turned and both teams got a kill. As 37 minutes approached, Fnatic took down Dragon and a team fight started soon after in the Wolves top jungle. Fnatic won it 2 for 1 and then they pushed again into the Wolves base, picking up a 3 for 0 fight and the Nexus fell before 43 minutes. And Fnatic will take victory! In their match on day 2, the Wolves faced off against Rocket. The Wolves started strongly with Woolite being able to get first blood on Celebrate in bot lane, which was followed up a few minutes later when Youngbuck killed Yankos with some help from Broken Shard when he tried to gank his lane. At 10 minutes, the Wolves were able to secure the first dragon of the game, and soon after, Broken Shard joined the scoreboard when he killed Yankos in the river. As 20 minutes loomed, the Wolves secured the top outer turret before Rocket got the mid outer turret down. As 30 minutes approached, Rocket set up a death push and bounced on Youngbuck, taking him down. His teammates then collapsed onto Rocket and took down Overpal. The Wolves then fall back to Dragon and pick up the objective. A couple of minutes later, and the Wolves go for Baron. Woolite kills Yankos from the other side of the Baron wall, and with no enemy smite available, the Wolves secure the objective. They then start their pushing top lane, taking overpower down the process, and explode the Nexus at 32 minutes and 48 seconds. They take victory over Rocket! In their scheduled match for day 3, the Wolves faced off against the Super Hot Crew. Broken Shard gank mid early on, and Sauron was able to get first blood and selfie just after 4 minutes. As 12 minutes passed, the Wolves were able to secure the first Dragon of the game, and a few minutes later, Broken Shard gank bot. However, it fell in favour of the Super Hot Crew 3 kills to O's, and Paler counter ganked, and Mima teleported in to help in the fight. The crew then secured the bot out of turret as the Wolves took down the top out of turret. As 19 minutes approached, the crew got their first dragon of the game, and soon after, the Wolves would try and chase down Kasing, but the crew turned on them and killed Broken Shard. Coming up to 22 minutes, a group fight broke out in top lane, and the crew walk away with two kills without losing any players before taking down the top out of turret. Two minutes later, Mr. Rales would pick up the kill on Unlimited in mid lane underneath the turret. The turret soon fell, and the crew secured another dragon. As 40 minutes neared, Selfie got caught in top lane by four members of the Wolves and was killed. The Wolves would soon after successfully steal the Baron, but the crew swiftly engaged on them and took down four members without losing any of their own. They proceeded to push the Wolves' base, taking down the mid inhibitor on their way, and destroyed the Nexus at 42 minutes and 26 seconds. And the Super Hot Crew will finish third. And in a tiebreaker match on day three, the Wolves faced off against Gambit. Gambit started off with an objective focus and took down the first dragon just after three minutes in. As 12 minutes approached, Gambit went for the second dragon of the game, and Nick would get first blood on Unlimited. A team fight broke out, and both teams walk away with two kills. This was followed by the Wolves securing the bot outer turret, but soon after, Gambit were able to push the lane back and take down the Wolves outer turret also. A couple of minutes on from this, and Edward would land a hook on Woolite, which allowed Genji to pick up the kill, and Gambit also secured another dragon after the play. At 28 minutes approached, the Copenhagen Wolves engaged on Gambit in mid. The fight fell in favour of the Wolves two kills to one, and they also took down the inner turret. A few minutes later, and Gambit secured yet another dragon and started a long mid-push, eventually securing the inner turret. 
A team fight started in top lane a minute later, which Gambit won 3 kills to 1. They proceeded to rotate to mid lane and take down the mid inhibitor turret and inhibitor before falling back and taking dragon. Coming up to 45 minutes, minions would take down the first of the Nexus turrets and Gambit would be able to get the top inhibitor down. They then pushed on for the Nexus and destroyed it at 46 minutes and 18 seconds. The Nexus will fall and Gambit Gaming, they finish in style. At the end of the split, the Wolves finished in 8th place with 8 wins and 20 losses and they will now compete in relegations. Thank you for watching this week's CM Storm EU LCS update featuring the Copenhagen Wolves. Play smart, and we'll see you soon.